Live from North Las Vegas, what's going on? Say what's real. It's your boy Keese. And that's right, get it right, don't get it wrong. Good morning, good night, good afternoon. Um, good evening. Yeah, good evening too. We are here to talk about Low Down Dirty Shane, a household black classic. Wayne's Brothers. Yeah, speaking of which, uh, I called it. I should put the clip out where I called it. I said, if they get it back, they should make Scary Movie 3 and put it 3 like T H R E E. But, um. And that's what they do? No, they're not. Oh. <laughs> they're rebooting it. I know. They, oh, so they're rebooting it. Yeah. Okay. So, real quick on that, it's just, I, that shit was underwhelming. I don't know if I hit you with that. I feel like it was underwhelming because it's like, parodies, they're just not going to work. Yeah, I feel like parody. Yeah, it's, it's over, bro. But I feel like the hype for this one you will probably so? make it sell. Because one, yeah. people did love the scary movie franchise yeah, they and it did. was mad they when the Wayne's yeah. they didn't really yeah. they didn't really do well yeah, after yeah. Wayne's left. After three. Yeah, you so, the first time. Yeah. 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 So I feel like this is gonna get people you to go so? see it. Yeah. yeah. Just them their involvement. Uh-huh. So I think it'll do numbers. I mean, I'm 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 a hope it's gonna do numbers. I'm yeah. not you ain't gonna never get me to go against yeah, the Wayne. Yeah. So I rather had I was thinking the announcement was gonna be like a I rather had a living color back. Like I'll, a new bruh, sketch comedy. If back, if, yeah. if it if it was between yeah, yeah. scary movie and a living yeah. color coming back, yeah. and living color all day. Yeah, yeah. because all day people need to commit uh I'll trade the last Four or five Wayne's projects. Jesus Christ. For, <laughs> for living yeah. color. Come on, yeah. Keenan. Yeah, imagine Man. the musical guest. Like somebody needs to compete exactly. with SNL, bro. They yeah, that could now. compete with SNL. Yeah, I really think these real days. talk. Yeah, you and get you, the good. Uh, you gonna get all the good musical oh yeah, guests. Yeah, you are. Yeah, Especially in hip hop yeah. and R and B. Yeah, they going. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's I would love for sure. To see that. Yeah. You can get all of the famous black guest uh, yeah. stars to to host. Yep. Yep, you really could. Yeah. yeah. And we just imagine like DC. No, you don't like DC Young Fly. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just hilarious <laughs> doing skits. Like like professional yeah. skits. Or they get in the writer's room. Yeah. Drewski in the writer's room, man, I'd be fired. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Got Drewski. Come you, on. Yeah. Come on, Keenan. Where you at? Yeah, listen to me. <laughs> the motherfucker that is on the podcast. I don't know nothing. Um, But yeah, before that. Oh, yeah. So you know why I'm in white and black? No. Uh, we gotta show love to the OG. No, I'm playing. Uh, Scream. I didn't no. put the gold face mask on, but uh, I'm in white and black in honor of him. And I was gonna throw the Dion uh, shirt on for you, but I just got these Griffies on and white and black shirt, the homage. Now, I don't know if I wore this last episode, so I know y'all motherfuckers be watching what I Man. wear. You wear the same thing. We not rich. He may look rich, but I'm not. I just got off work. <laughs> <laughs> don't get it confused. Yeah. Um, yeah, before where is my nose? God damn, I should have got this shit before I did it. Uh, maybe I should do this. All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh, all right. Before we get into um anything that we normally do, I got a comment shout out. So shout out to Jaden. He says, "Uh, Jake Paul drink." Well, that's when we review. Was you here when we did the Jake Paul drink? The prime, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. He's commented on that. That was a year God ago. God damn, that was a year ago, though. Uh, he said mango, like a real Dutch guy. I guess he's talking about the mango flavor. I don't know. Mm. Uh, Tony's only on, uh, on the comment saying it's Logan because we didn't know it was Paul or or whatever the brother's name is. So he commented, it's says, Logan Paul, Logan, yeah. Uh, Beetlejuice says that ain't even. Blueberry Dr. Pepper is dark berry. That's when we did the Dr. Perry. Mm. Nigga, what does it matter? You just now seeing these comments? Or are they just, just now posting? Look, it? I'm be honest with you. We're running out of the uh the cinematic first. Oh. And I'm transitioning to something before that. Okay. Because we're starting to catch up. But yeah, so yeah, this is going back a year, like when we first started the YouTube. And then up to date was four days ago, uh, on our uh Agatha All Alone episode, I think four. Damn, I can't click on the mother. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I got the episode six. Kenny says Bill William William Bill. Because I said that because did you watch our review on episode six? Probably not. So oh, well, you didn't see the fucking show. No, you were good. But you know how the comments go where he dies and goes into Billy Kaplan? No. Okay, so the comments is he dies and goes in Billy Kaplan, Mm. but he's William. 
And I'm saying, why would they make it the same fucking name? That's the same name. Yeah. William Bill Billy. Billy. Yeah, he's like, no, it's not. I'm like, literally, Bill Clinton's name is William. Like, yeah. But yeah, that's why he commented on that. Uh, Deadpool Wolverine review. Kenny also comments on Rico fitted, like Chip the Ripper. Rico says, Chip, what Chip say? The bank called, asked, what you gonna do? Make a deposit? You think I'm fresh to death? Uh, you should see my closet. And then, <laughs> did you see our Team America review? Yes. Uh, it starts off with the quad stacker or whopper or whatever. She ain't never had that. So uh, shout out to Darnell. He comments that. Uh, then for our audio listeners this week, they listen to Deadpool Wolverine. They listen to that was me. That was you. Oh, shout out because that audio. You know I, I mean, f- I don't know if I was the only one. Oh, but, I fucked yeah. that audio. Well, I didn't. Yeah, but, I was wondering what yeah, was going on. She nah, just kind of went. Yeah, but, it kept going in and out. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what the fuck happened with that, but yeah, shout out to y'all that got bare through it. Um, let's see. Oh, they listen to our. Uh, World Police Review, they listen to I Got It All Alone, they listen to It's Rebel Shit 56, 88, The Girl Next Door, Lion King, and I, Robot. Uh, with all that being said, do you have anything non-film related? Non-film related. Uh, when is this dropping? Shit, three weeks from now. So Three weeks? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, okay. That's, I was, yeah, the only thing I was going to say is get out there and vote. <laughs> we're gonna have a president by then. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a president by then. Uh non-film related shit. Um rise up, go Falcons. Yeah, Falcons. Speaking of which, I told you I was gonna be in uniform every time the nine is one. I got my headgear. Yeah, I got my headgear on. I found this in my uh, my old dresser. Here goes some non-film related shit. What? You see your boy? Who? Bosa? Oh yeah, through that hat on. That boy threw that hat on. Yeah, like fuck what y'all talking about. But did you see the way uh what's his name? What's your tight end name? Uh Kittle, yeah. Kittle. Kittle yeah. look shook. I I would be too. <laughs> I don't want to hey, he wanna like, let y'all hey. know. Yeah, right. Oh no, and right now. He said, don't, listen, don't I love my in, black fans. Don't jump in yeah, my comments. Yeah, for with real. This shit. I, he said, I love my black fans. I ain't doing nigga, this. His mouth was open. Yeah, yeah. I ain't seen a nigga yeah. get a picture snap with his mouth open. He was like yeah, I don't blame him. I'd have been like, bruh, like, and it doesn't get fined uh, for it. Yeah. But Cap couldn't play for X amount of years. I said, hey. damn, bro. It is what it is. Yeah, it is. At yeah. this point. Damn. But yeah, that's all I got now. Yeah. I'm related. Yes, sir. I won 400. Shout out to me. What the hell? Nice. The Genesis. The hell? Uh, yeah. Oh, Dre Michelle. Who is she? Dre? Let's be clear. No, Dre? Yeah, I know you know Dre, nigga. <laughs> she said, let's be clear that no one was married. I don't know what the hell she talking Oh, she's talking about because Laura Govan, I guess, was messing with uh, Gilbert Arenas, I guess. But anyway, right. um, that brings us to first in film, 2008 now. U2 3D was the first live action film to be shot, posted, and what is it? And exhibited. Entirely in 3D. The first live action digital 3D and the first 3D concert regarding the production. It was the first 3D film shot during zoom lens in the aerial area. God damn, and multiple camera setup. Additionally, it was the first 3D film to feature composite images with more than two layers and the first to be edited specifically to prevent the viewer from experiencing motion sickness and eye strain. God damn. Hmm. Uh, you, would you, did you happen to see that? And absolutely not. Yeah, I feel you. Did you see Venom yet? Nah, uh-uh. I was gonna go last night. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, last night was right. Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess they don't do the little five dollar movie specials for Sony movies. Wow, yeah. that's new. They want the full price, which oh wow, I don't know. I felt yeah, I feel you. On Maybe that one. because I was I had my heart set on the five. Yeah, but I'll probably go see it Friday. Take the, the, the kid. kid. He didn't want to go see it, but I think I'm going to just go force him to see it. Yeah, know? that's the good part of being a parent. You force that's a, a motherfucker. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. going. Yeah. I don't so, care. <laughs> so box office for Venom is 120 What you think they did? The budget was 120 Yeah. For some reason, I don't think they made their money back first mm. week yet. So first week they did 180 Oh, yeah. Good for them. I really thought it was going to flop. Yeah, everybody did. Haters yeah. will say that. Well, we'll see with the second week numbers. Yeah, that's, that's true. Gonna, too. That's going to be the tale. Yeah. 
if they ain't at yeah. 300, yeah, oh, then really? this is going to be bad Shit. for them. Yeah. Um, and then Dark Knight is the first mainstream feature to be uh, partially shot in IMAX, um, IMAX 70 mm cameras with 28 minutes of footage. Shout out to that boy, uh, Christopher Nolan. There you go, Christopher Nolan. You know, Tom Holland just got into Christopher Nolan business. Oh, really? What are you yeah, about to do? I think it's some something about vampire. And it's set in the twenties. In the twenties, I fucking hate period piece movies. No, you don't. I literally was with you when you watched the period piece movie. You enjoyed it. It was, it was okay. That was good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of yeah. them. But damn, a Christopher Nolan vampire movie. Yeah, it ain't that crazy? Ooh. That's what the rumors is, at least. Yeah, Ooh, I like that. Yeah, damn. Uh, so this does conclude our no vo- no vote November. Uh, I had a decision to make. Really, it was out of Hunger Games Part One. I mean, Hunger Games <clears throat> Mockingbird Part Mark and Jay Part One. Hor- a horrible bosses, Penguin of Ma- Madagascar. Uh, that was really it. You had some decent uh, choices. Yeah, you happy with the choice I made? Yeah, Page Master also was in there. <laughs> uh yeah uh, i'm sorry we didn't get to get give you guys horror films this uh this year uh also i don't think we're gonna give you christmas films this year mm. so I'm, I'm sorry to hear that for you guys oh we gave you guys freddy uh at nightmare on m street yeah yeah i wish we could have gave you guys more uh why do i keep losing this year god damn you see they sell an iPad for like two fifty. I'm thinking about getting one. Hey, <laughs> they're going for the low I mean, now. I know. I seen that shit. Um, but yeah, but no further ado. This is what you came here for. If you don't like to hear our bullshit and going straight to the film, you can hit the tab that says "Low Down Dirty Shane um, Review." You know about chapters on YouTube? No. Oh, you know there's some, if they put up the chapters, you can just hit. Oh, go, that's dope. Yeah, you never knew that. Nah. Like member of DVD chapters. Yeah, yeah, you can do that that's if they dope. set it up that way. Yeah, like yeah. I set it up that way. But yeah, no further ado, this is our second Keenan Iron Ivory Wayne film we have reviewed. Uh, first, I'm going to get you sucker. Second, Jada film we have reviewed. First, A Minute Society. Second was Matrix Reloaded. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know. I forget about them, too. Fourth, Charles Sutton film we have reviewed. Uh, third was Against the Rope. Second was uh, Secret Rental. First was Minute Society. And he is now tied at four films with Sam Jack, Hugh Damn. Jackman, Chris Rock, and as well as Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellar. Who would have thought I Charles know. S. Dutton? I know. And he keeps going. Uh, second Kim Wayne film what we did, the first was Get You Sucker. Mm. Uh, let's get to it. So starring Keenan Ivory Wayne, Charles S. Dutton, Jada Pinkins, uh, Sally Richardson, Andrew Dillhoff. Produced by Hollywood Pictures and Caravan Pictures, Buena Vista Pictures, and releases November. Buena Vista? This is yeah, a Disney I know, movie. I know. That's crazy, right? This is on yeah. Disney Plus. <laughs> that, or Hulu? They yeah, out of, they are Hulu. right. They out of yeah, line. Yeah, pocket for that they one. They out of line. They probably released it out. Uh, so, yeah, with a budget. Where is the budget? Damn, I literally found the budget and then I don't know what happened to it. All right, with a budget of ten million, red, green, or black. I'm gonna say that it was uh it was red. Twenty nine million. How much was the budget? Ten million. Oh, okay. Good yeah. for them. Yeah, no, I don't know. I feel good. like yeah, it yeah, flopped yeah. and then yeah. it just became like a cult classic yeah. after. Yeah, I feel like But okay, too. good. They Did made their money back. So you was ten years old. Any commercials, trailers, you seen? I don't remember that <laughs> Nothing, shit at all. Yeah, First, I, I didn't yeah. see it in theaters. Yeah, of course. I yeah. seen it on yeah. VHS. Right. Like, so let me ask you something. Okay, you probably don't remember this. So when you was seeing Time Cop or Lion King, none of the trailers pop up with it? Bruh, I don't remember. <laughs> I feel you. Because this would have been around yeah. the time, but I I really don't yeah. remember. <laughs> I don't even know how I knew about Time Cop. Like I knew Lion King, yeah. you know, Disney, they yeah, don't yeah, advertise. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I don't know how I knew about Time Cop back mm. then. Mm. Um, in the world of the war, uh, Junior, Low Down Dirty Shane, Pulp Fiction, Stargate, uh, Leon the Professional, Interview with a Vampire, uh, Santa Claus, and, and Star Trek Generation, where does Low Down Dirty Shane fall? It's right there. Yeah, that's a crazy ass Shit. box office. Uh, where's this fall in the box office? Yeah. Six. So six is Pope Fiction. Six is Pope Fiction. Huh? Nine is Low Down Dirty Shane. Nine. De- debuts Nine. at three point four million. 
That's not a bad debut when the box office looks like when that. When you in the box office yeah, with heavy hitters heavy, like that? nigga, heavy. Tim Shit. Allen, Tom Cruise, goddamn. Antonio Banderas, yeah, Antonio Brad Pitt. Ba- Brad Pitt, yeah. 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 Junior, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. yeah. Did we say Bruce Willis? Bruce Willis and what? Pope Fiction. Oh, yeah, yeah, Pope Fiction. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Sam Jackson, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Um. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six... So it stays in the box office for six weeks. First week, it goes number five. Second week, it goes number five. Third week is number six. Fourth week mm, is number so it nine. Jumps up. Okay. Yeah, but the uh, fifth week, it drops down to 18. And then the last, his final run mm-hmm. is uh, 19. Uh, it gets up the movie theaters January 2nd, 95. Cracked the top five, though. So that's all yeah, matters. right. And it stayed in, in there from November to January. It's not bad. Uh, let me see. Low down, dirty. Page master. Uh, debut same weekend. What you paying for? What you waiting for? A blockbuster, obviously. Out of low down, dirty. Shame and page master. Yeah. I didn't like the page master. Yeah, that shit's scary, bro. Yeah, yeah. I didn't resur- I don't know. That didn't resurrect me. It, it, it didn't fuck. With me. Yeah, <laughs> with I, I kids, didn't fuck with that at all. Yeah, I feel yeah. that. Yeah. Um. So we got some haters, and you can understand who the haters are when it comes to this movie. Uh, you see, mm, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> All right, Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> the critics give it four percent. How much the audience gives it? You think? Audience probably gave it seventy, close sixty nine percent. Sixty nine. Yeah. See, yeah. Uh, which, know, I never trust what the critics say. Yeah, I always yeah, look yeah, for the yeah, audience. Yeah. Score. Right. Yeah. I figure if the audience score is high and yeah. the critics is low. Good movie. Exactly. If the critics is high and the audience yeah. low, bad movie. Yeah. If they both high though, yeah. that shit fire. Yeah. <laughs> so what you agree with more? The 69 or 4%? It's 69, yeah, easily. You, yeah. All right. So the review I got from May 20th, 2014. <clears throat> so 20 years of the film been released. Four stars out of five. It's, it's a shame that it don't have black critics who can... Uh, Especially, oh, who can especially review black films? It's Boom. sad I can't even have a hint at such a thing. However, it's clear that such movies don't get a fair shake. Otherwise, this movie is decent and funny when it comes to black films. I simply ignore what profession critics have to say. Mm. They're usually dead wrong, which is true. Um, Three stars out of five, April 15th, 2024. So 30 years after the film's release. The plot is pretty basic, but the movie is so... Many laughs out loud. The supporting roles steal the show, especially Jada Pink and Smith. They do. I haven't heard nothing wrong. Here we go now, though. Michael something from the movie report, January 11, 2024, so 10 years after the film's release. The comedy is hit and miss while Wayne's proves to be a huge fan of Hong Kong action films, ripping off a number of action sequences from there. 2.5 out of 4. Alice from... Austin Chronicle, you already know that's bad. So yeah. this is the oldest review I could find from 2000. January 1st, 2000, says she says, I'm not sure what type of movie this is supposed to be or who its audience is. It's, <laughs> who its audience is? It's not you, Allison. Hmm. Right, yeah, but it's a low-down, dirty shame what Wayne's talent is wasted on this film. It's absolutely not, but 1.5 out of 5, he gave it. Wow. Alice, Fuck are you, you still right? Are you still on this earth? Um... So yeah, with that being said, prequel, sequel, other renditions. I mean, I feel like it's too late. Yeah, now. I'm good. I don't want to see yeah, a sequel. Yeah. A prequel could work though. You use uh you probably use Damon Jr. You think so? I don't think he nah, got he, it, bro. You know, he Yeah. I feel like Keenan had yeah, a that's different what I'm, build. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He had yeah. that ore, bro. Yeah, that ore. Yeah. I was just I nigga, was watching as soon as like, the motherfucker I'm comes like, why on, why is this bro? nigga not still bro, acting? Why did he you. stop? Like, nigga, as soon as it comes on, that I feel shame. like he could have been yeah. an action star. Bro, low key. That's what I'm saying. He could have been yes. up there with like Wesley right. and them. Yeah. I don't get it. And his fade was tight. I don't know where the yeah. hair came from, but the, the hey, was that his hair? I don't think so. Was that his no. hair? Because he cut it at exactly. the end. And exactly. I'm like, is he one of them niggas that just goes bald? Uh, I hate them. Yeah, I feel you. I hate I them. I feel you. I know, yeah. <laughs> like, don't, yeah. don't go bald right. just because exactly. you want to. Just because you want to. Because you know, in the 90s, they did that to <laughs> yeah. look tough. Yeah. But no, uh, I said, I'm good. Uh, this should never be recreated. No one's going to be able to do justice the way Keenan did. Yeah, Even I now in 2025, I don't I don't think there's a I person. I feel like he's too old to, yeah. to reprise the role. Yeah. Or maybe you could do a sequel. Nah, I'm good, bro. We can look, don't sequel. ruin look, nothing hey, from me, please. Look look at Beverly. Axel, Axel F. 
that was pretty decent. It was all right. It was it was better it was than three, right, bro. I mean, it for y'all, better than three. I like that's the one with the theme park. With the theme I park. With that I, theme park. I thought it was better yeah. than three. Yeah, it came back. I was like, yeah. this is how you do yeah. a sequel after all the years. Yeah. So no, I mean, yeah, it was amazing. True. Look yeah. at Bad Boys Four. Yeah. Okay, let me. Ask they could have left right. three out and just went straight to that. Yeah, I know three was yet, yeah, but I guess let me you needed the plot. So out of all those, four. so Beverly Hills Cop four. Uh, it's time, Keenan. Where you at? Uh, Do it. It's gonna be ball for real this time. It gonna uh, for real be ball. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Beverly Hills Cop four, uh, <coughs> Bad Boys four, and this third one. I can tell you, this third one I'm about to say is the best out of all of them. Beetlejuice sequel. Yeah. Oh, that was the best yeah, one. That easily. Was, Easily. Yeah, like that's how you do it. It wasn't forced. It was like a natural <clears throat> yeah. flow of it, and I get, yeah. I'm, and I've never seen Beetlejuice yeah. really. But there was all they were. Little, I'm not shitting on none of them. Yeah. I liked all of them. Yeah. But yeah, Beetlejuice. Yeah, they was did the best. Yeah, the best. but they probably had the biggest budget. Out of Bad Boy blowing up shit. Oh no, Bad Boys probably had the biggest budget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll never know with Netflix. They don't like to release nothing. <clears throat> uh, so this one, I think maybe a hard one for me. Uh, MVP, who you think it is, Keenan? I'm gonna give it to Keenan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the boy yeah, was swaggy. Yeah, yeah, no, he was. Yeah, throughout yeah. the whole way, when he got dressed up, he was like, "See, you dressed like that for me." Car. Yeah, yeah. Um, so nobody else was even close. Uh, who else? I would probably say. If I it, mean, if it was Jada, you, Charles S. Dutton. Yeah, of course, Jada. No, yeah, not Charles. Yeah, that's that's what he would say. Um, then who this is important to? That's the most who is this question. most important to? Nigga, me as a kid when I see Sally take that goddamn coat off. I was like, God My damn, God. this is the finest woman ever. I've been in love with this woman bro. since I was 10. Yeah, bro, <laughs> where, I was two. She hey, she's still fine to this <laughs> still day. Still fine. Tell her to recreate that her, costume. You know her, her, yeah, her, she her she married in the NFL, to right? Skin. No, he's a he's a actor. Light skinned dude. Oh, I think we wouldn't have had this conversation yeah. before. Um who is this most important? Right, to? that's the hard one. Uh, I don't think it would be the most important to Keenan. He already did. Right, yeah, he was yeah. already doing shit. So and then if you look at Jada, because uh, what's the call? She did that series, that that one. She'd already did Minister Society. Yeah, that she did. Uh, Jason Lear, Jason and then Lear. also she was on that show, that Bill Cosby spinoff. Yeah, so I don't think it was important to her really. Whose career did this boost? <laughs> Wayman, I don't Wayman. Maybe you Wayman. Know, hey, RIP. You know he passed <laughs> from age. Yeah, this is like I didn't know. Yeah, damn. yeah, he passed. Away I was from watching age. and thinking, damn, what happened yeah, to what Wayman? Happened? Like yeah. he used to be in all kind of shit. <laughs> oh back really? Then. I feel like he was in a few <laughs> movies at least. Damn. Yeah, RIP. Wayman. Yeah, for um, real. Where that white dude that too? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it was really boosted anyone's yeah, career. It was yeah. just something you know. All right. So with did. that being said, so you take five J to. Pinkins film. Would this be in yeah, her top be, five? Yeah. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Uh, Jason Lyric. I would say this. Set it off. Set it. Set it, Not Jason's lyric. This set it Why off. Why not? I don't know. I was just not. I'm not. I wasn't. Not no really Matrix a fan. movie. I'm gonna go with the with the with, with the second Matrix using the Matrix right? Reloaded. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And let's see. Probably. Scream. Oh, Minister Society. Yeah, Scream. And then well, she was barely in Scream. <laughs> I would have did that role. Fuck it, Scream. <laughs> Scream <laughs> the two. movie was great. <laughs> Scream 2. Yeah. Uh, her and uh, what's Omar. Name? Omar. Yeah, they must have been on the set visit. Hey, get in they there, must have been. Yeah, like, yeah. That, that just don't make sense. Nah, hell or nah. they were shooting a movie yeah, next the door yeah. and it was like, hey, yeah. y'all want to just make right. a cameo? Yeah, real quick, yeah. Uh, irrelevant scene for you. Oh, irrelevant scene. Uh, or character. Or character. I don't think there were any ir- irrelevant characters. Yeah, me characters. either, yeah. Um, I can't think of any irrelevant scenes. Though. Yeah, I feel that. Uh, what was I going to say again? Uh, you just recently watched it again or no? Yeah, I just watched it last night. Oh, okay. Uh, Lifespan. I will watch yeah, this shit every time I see for it. For fucking yeah. ever, yep. Uh-huh. This was they a, don't put it. It's never on anything nothing. really. Though. I had so, to search, bro. Yeah. Therefore, you know, know, it's hard to watch it yeah. as often as. Yeah. But if this shit was on FX or whatever, yeah. just just always on some yep. Netflix, I'd watch that shit a lot. Yeah, this is one of the ones that travel. <laughs> I got to show the kids VHS, the DVD, 
to a streaming. More years. Yeah. Them all. I wonder what he thought as a kid. No, well, he wasn't. He didn't watch it. But as a kid, when you seen him in the bed with waiting, I wonder what he'll think. Because <laughs> I didn't know. I just thought oh. they were doing some funny, some funny. I didn't know oh. what was really going on. Um, and then um, for rent money, eight hours of I'm gonna get you sucker or low down dirty shame for eight hours. You gotta watch them consistently. Which one can you do? Low down dirty shame. Yeah, I feel yeah. you. Yeah. I know. I'm gonna pick low down dirty shame. I know older black people is probably and cuss me out for that. I feel like I feel like the old the, uh-huh. the older the generation before yeah. me they going to go with low down dirty sh- with uh with I'm going to get you going to get you sucker. Wow. Yeah, but I feel like this was better. Yeah, oh, I think so too. Yeah. It had a real fucking yeah. plot like he wasn't fucking Hey, you know what? That wasn't his hair. Cuz in I'm going to get oh. you sucker, he had the Oh. Didn't he have a what yeah. he shit receding? Yeah. Damn, how did it make it look so good? How did they in make it look so good in 94? What the fuck? Yeah, that he had the Dion <laughs> yeah, in 94. Yeah, yeah. He Damn. had the prime. Yeah, you're right. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy. Wow. Well, shout out to him and his angles. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, funny moments I got is real quick. Uh, I'm chow. That nigga said, I'm chow fun fat. You know what that means? He said, yeah, you come with an egg roll and miso soup. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's funny because I'm going to oh, get you sucking was meant to be a parody. Yeah. This nigga just talking shit to him. Say, ah, ah. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, he had a bunch of killer lives. Right, he did. Like when though, he walked yeah. into, uh, when it was uh, sitting down eating at the mm-hmm. Mexican restaurant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. That shit was funny. He's a, oh. you keto, what'd he say? Oh yeah, pull your local to you. Local to you too. (laughs) (laughs) Oh man. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, When Shane is sitting with Luis and they speak in Spanish, uh, what we just said, he says, "Yeah, "Yeah, pull. What is it? Uh, Pull your local to you too." too. Uh, You got any other funny ones? Um, you know what? It's not funny. Uh huh. Well, actually, I now as an adult, I'd be cracking up at it, but. When I was younger, I always just thought this was the greatest line. What? Where she was like, after she shot on yeah. Morgan, was like, you stupid motherfucker. You could have got you some, some pussy. pussy. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a real thought. Yeah, yeah. Damn. She I was be- thinking like, damn, bro, yeah. you fucked up. I'm thinking, damn, that fat motherfucker was going to get some. He was going to get He was going to get him some. He was going to get me some. Get me Exactly. <laughs> you let that nigga tear right, off. Exactly. Oh. Uh, uh. They said the cold moments I got is when Mendoza catches Shane and he says, "You keep chasing ghosts, you are gonna end up in the graveyard." Mm, That's real. That talk, was cold. Though. Yeah. Also, yeah. cold moment when he uh, jumped out the window. At the yeah, hotel first bro. Through the through the the whole first of all the whole shootout scene. Was dope. Yeah. 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 But uh, realistically, nigga. You jump that motherfucking high and happen to land in the happen feet? to land Come on. through the hey, sunroof. Hey, man, dog, you got a concussion. <laughs> the next thing you should have been in the hospital. Oh. But yeah, no, that was cold. Um, oh man, uh, I don't know why. As a kid, I thought in my head that that scene with Jada and the other one was in the same scene where she where they take the jeep and they go down. Oh, because that's the same hotel, yeah. ain't it? It does look like they, the same hotel. Also, thank you. I just realized. I've I thought that hotel was built like maybe ten to fifteen years ago. I didn't before realize when I was watching. No, uh, like re, like oh when I was before oh, so I moved you know down that hotel. here. Yeah, it's in Santa Monica, the Lowe's oh. Hotel. I didn't know that, that shit has been around since ninety. I didn't, you know, as a yeah, kid yeah, yeah, when yeah, I was yeah. watching this uh, movie, I had no idea, you know, where they were. Yeah, yeah, of course. But as an adult, when I just recently rewatched it, I said. Like that's the Lowe's Hotel. That wow. shit been around that long. Wow, I had no idea. That hotel is nice as fuck. Damn. Yeah. So have you ever been? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see how what level he was on? <laughs> I just put two and oh, two together. Okay. Yeah, so next yeah, time yeah. I go, right, I'm yeah. gonna be like, yeah, let me see where Keenan was at. Right. Yeah. They should have that up there. They should because they don't give a fuck about this movie. That's why. Mm-hmm. Um, another oh, co- what? I forgot a funny moment when my man uh, when he. Walked into the uh, the Nazi rally, the KKK yes. rally, looking yes. for the exit. Yes, yes. <laughs> nigga, that is my favorite. That as a kid. That's the shit that stuck done. out to me as a kid. Yeah. I got two things for you. 
<laughs> it's driving alongside oh. with him and talking to him. Oh, yeah. man. I got that in my nose. But, um, and the Angela says, promise me you'll smoke his ass. Shame. Uh, Shame replies like a motherfucking pack of coos and cocks his gun. Ooh. Nigga, that, that, like, bro, you can't tell me it wasn't okay, action. That was nigga smooth. jumping out of windows, nigga getting dressed. Man, that mall scene, that bro, mall scene was crazy. Mall, yes. Nigga, like, that's one. Like, hey, he, I have a lot of favorite moments. I'm in this telling film, you, like, I'm yeah. saying, he could have been yeah, up he there been, with yeah. Wesley. Hey, come with that hair, though. <laughs> you come with that hair. <laughs> you could have been one, yeah. He uh, definitely could have been. I guess he didn't want that. I guess not. Yeah. Uh, then other co members got when Shame is preparing for the climax when he's shaving his hair, getting dressed up, loading all his guns up. He switched up his whip. I thought that shit was cold. Like when I get dressed in a suit, I be like feeling like the exact same mm. moment, bro. Yeah. What kind of car was that? I thought it was a vet. I thought. Well, I thought it looked like a Jag or something. I don't um, know. Probably so. Yeah. Uh, as a plot thickens. Oh yeah, this is a new. Um, what is it called? Segment that I got, and we only do this because there's two plots. So solely based off of 1994, uh, their characters, based off their characters. So based off 94, no other antics. Who would you rather kick it with for 24 hours, Peaches or Angela? This is just their characters. Come on, brother. Hey, brother, you might like Peaches uh, character. You want to hang out with her. (laughs) Just based on... It's it's still going to be Angela. Angela Yeah, 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 I feel that. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. the end notes that I got is uh, right when the film starts, you feel his air aura. My bad. Yeah. Uh, I just <clears> noticed <throat> again. I just noticed hair with Keenan. He hella looked like Marlon. He do. Yeah, I seen it with Marlon. Like, damn, he really looked like Marlon with the hair. Uh, the music in the film was fire. Uh, yeah. Then Juno. I think I'm talking about. I don't know who is there a person named Juno in the film. Probably not. not. Yeah, because I said, how big you think Juno was? Who the fuck is Juno? And I'm talking about Jada? I don't know. Uh, Keenan and Jada chemistry is great on screen. It was. Uh, Mendoza definitely sound like a villain name for sure. Like, they did, that's what I'm saying. They did everything. It's basic, but they did everything for, uh, to construct, construct, I think, a good film. Yeah. Yeah, like, to be low budget as it is. uh, If you took the comedy out, and yeah. put yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger in that yeah. role, it would have been yeah. like it was still would have been yeah. a good movie. It'd have been a good the, action the movie. The comedy lines ain't that much though. Like everyone is yeah. not uh uh every line is not meant to be funny. Somehow it's just funny because he delivers it. It's funny because yeah. it's it's him, yeah, his personality. Right. Yeah, is funny. right. That's what I'm saying. It's like um who's just naturally funny like that? Like ah. Uh, I can't think of anybody. Yeah, but they just be, you know, yeah. it's just a natural but thing. But see, that's like, the thing with Arnold says his comedy is corny. Yeah. Like, we watched, uh, what the fuck we watched? Because it's forced. They're that's writing what in I'm, for yes, him. Yes, that's what I'm like, saying. This is, this is going to be the funny yeah. part. Not like it just naturally comes yeah. off funny. Because, bro, a pollo loco to you, that's, he. he's not, like, bro, that's real tough what yeah. black people do, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. a pollo loco to you, too. Uh, did the other shit. What do you say again? Uh... Well, I had it in my line. Oh, I'm trying to fuck. You know what that means? Yeah, you come with an egg roll and a meat mm-hmm. soup. Like, nigga, like what? Um, and then let's see. Uh, oh, yeah. Why couldn't he sleep on the couch with, or with peaches? That's irrelevant. Bro. Yeah. Like, come yeah. on. Y'all, y'all forced that scene yeah. on us. You're right. You're right. Um, I could see if she said, oh, I got to go to. Oh, I don't know what it could have been, but it could have been. They could have put more effort into that scene. Uh, when Shane meets Luis and gets and tells him to get up and get up and black. Oh, get up and the uh, black will be the last thing you see. In the background, you hear that uh, one dollar melon. <laughs> Marlon sung that song in White Chicks, bro. Did well, it? Yeah, one dollar melon. He said, he said, in the beginning, like the first scene, remember when they blow up the ice cream place or whatever? You probably don't remember White Chicks. I got it. It's been so long. Mm-hmm, I feel you. And then I thought it was a perfect battle in the mall for the final battle. Uh, the film taught me rock rollers don't give a fuck about Mexican music. That nigga was like, one dollar man. <laughs> Tow his ass up. Uh, uh, then, uh, and then Shane really let them fight, bro. She was like, Peaches, I'm a whoop your yeah. ass. He just sit back there and let them fly. I'm like, bruh, come on. But they, even we needed that in the film because they've been beefing for the whole film. So I get it. 
And their favorite part of the movie, when Shane lets Luis go and ends up at the KKK rally, yeah. he tells him, I got some good news and I got some bad news. He said, the bad news is uh, you're only five miles. No, the no, good news yeah, is the good you're news only five, is five miles, miles away. LA. Yeah, like, bad, bad news is, is that LA. way. Yeah, that shit is hilarious. <laughs> that stuck with me for the last oh, 30 years, bro. Yeah. That shit is funny as fuck. Yes. Uh, Peach's sweatsuit was fly as hell. Oh, the, the yeah. yellow, I don't know who made that. What company? Because I couldn't see it. 90 sweatsuits was just Yes, popping. yeah. Some of them was, yeah. Uh, facts about the film I got. Uh, is, uh, so, in the beginning, bro, when I was a kid, I always thought it was Low Down Dirty Shane. No. Yeah. Because his name yeah, is Shane. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, his name, his, la- his name is Shane. No, his name no. is Shane. No, it's Shane. Look it up, bro. It's Shane. That's bro. why it's Low Down Dirty Shane. No, I think bro, yeah. I really think it's no, bro. His last name, that. no, it's Shane. Alone. That's why they call it. That's a play on it. All right, let's see. Oh, it does say yeah. it's Shane. What That's what I'm saying. Fuck? Yeah. Huh. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. Shame tells the bodyguard thug, say hello to to Arnold for me before hitting him in the, with the gun. So they're basically saying that body that bodyguard was mm-hmm. uh used to build uh used to bodybuild with Arnold in in competitions. That's why he said that to him. Uh the history of the love triangle between Shame and Angela and Mendoza is never explained in a linear fashion, but it's known that Angela was the Mendoza's was with Mendoza first. It's likely that while he was a cop, Shane was assigned to somehow somehow get close to Mendoza, and he did so through Angela, falling in love with her in the process. Bad Boys 3 plot. Uh, Shane's first name is written in the screenplay is Andre. It's never spoken, but it's visible on the check he receives at the beginning of the film. Kim Films auditioned for the role of what? Kim Fields? Yeah. What do you think she would have played? Peaches. You think so? That's what it is. Yeah. I mean, I could see it. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see it. Really? No. How funny Jada was and how Kim Fields be acting? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like Jada was. Yeah. They made the right choice. Yeah. Now, if I would have said Kim Fields would be Angela, everybody looked at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, um, Keenan Ivory Waynes delivered his character from Avery Brooks, who played Hawk in Spencer for Hire. You know Spencer for Hire? No. Remember, ain't Spencer for Hire they remade it on Netflix with uh, Mark Wahlberg? Mark Wahlberg? Is I that think that's, that's a, remake. a remake. I think so. Oh, yeah, that's Spencer what it Confidential. Like. Yep. Well, maybe it's not that. And I don't know. It sounded like it was Spencer for Hire, Spencer Confidential, same thing. Uh, this is Corwin Anthony Hawkins' last movie. He died the same year the movie came out. I think S- Ant- Corwin Spencer Hawkins is uh, Wayman. Yeah, Wayman. Uh, in Peach's first scene of Shame's office, she's talking on the phone while watching the soap opera. Kim Waynes is on the other end of the line. And was you talking about the stories? Yeah. Uh, any last rooms for low down dirty Shame? Classic. Yeah, definitely a classic. Wayne's Brothers. Yep. Uh, Wayne's Family yep. production. You know. Yep. Um, I'm surprised like Damon didn't make an appearance. Yeah, yet. or you know what's fucked up? I could really Marlin see. And yeah, Sean. I could really see Marlon being uh, Wayman, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they could have used yeah, Marlon as Wayman. Been, yeah. yeah, he really could have been. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I got, uh, like I said, I got the shit next week, and you still never heard none of these films, right? 1974 is the last time. uh, Forgot is 1974 movie based off the time you forgot. Uh, The end of no, uh, I'll say that later. Uh, 84, zero films. 94, you got Trapped in Paradise. You never heard of that, right? No. It is a Christmas-themed crime comedy starring Nicolas Cage. And Dana Nicholas Carvey. Cage. And Dave, I've never seen a movie with them two in it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I've never heard hmm. of this. Uh, Cobb is a 1994 American bio. I've heard of it, but yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh, Tom and Viv is a 1994 historical drama. Probably not. Uh, 04 Closer is a 2004 American drama. 
with Mike Nichols and Patrick Morbert based on the award winning 1997 play of the same name in 2014. You got nothing. Nothing? Nope. Uh, with that being said, this is the end of No Vote November. Hope y'all enjoyed our choices. It was no good choices for this week coming up. So, uh, what last comes week out in 2024? <laughs> this fuck. Oh, man. Uh, Smell. Yeah, you're right, huh? I mean, Shit. but how you you gonna watch it in the theater? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'd rather watch that than any of these, <laughs> these movies. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Christ, that was yeah, a slow Yeah, it week. was, bro. They trying to get the... It's almost January. They said, we got to stop this last week. Um, What week is this? It is November... Oh, let me be exactly what it is. It is the week of... It must of, be like the week before Thanksgiving or something. Yeah, November 27th to December 3rd. No, that, that would be like the week of Thanksgiving. I feel like Thanksgiving, there's always a good movie that comes out. Really? Bro, my holiday tradition used to go to my uh-huh. family's uh-huh. Thanksgiving dinner, uh-huh. and then we dip out and go to the movies after. Mm. Okay, what came out last year? Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't been in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that makes some, sense. I mean, I remember I've seen like a Twilight movie, Gothica, yeah, I see. Okay. a few different movies. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess not in uh, these Damn. years. Yeah, maybe that just started after that. Yeah, maybe it did. You're right. Um. But yeah, but what the hell was back what I was saying? Um, what the fuck? But yeah, in the where the fuck is this shit at? I'm trying to be exact. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck just happened to the shit. Uh, here we go officially so with that being said since so there's really nothing to watch uh ill suggested a movie uh mystery team starring donnie glover donald glover and aubrey plaza <laughs> it's his vote it was his pick? no i just he just said oh we should do that movie it'd probably get a lot of views is he gonna be here to do it oh you gotta ask him <laughs> gotta ask him i mean i'm halfway through the movie it's it's funny a little funny thing it, it's one particular fucking this little kid is fucking going crazy bro like cussing them out and shit because i guess they're a mystery team that solves murders but oh. they don't really serve solve murders they think in their head they solving them oh shit and then the kid was like oh fuck it's mystery team he starts running this shit <laughs> and he's like you fucking mm, you know he got, yeah bro <laughs> yeah oh, shit. yeah so it was funny and then the one dude was oh donald glover was like he's like you gonna do something he's like no girls coming over ew <laughs> like it's like one of them motherfuckers because this came out in okay. 09 yeah uh. but yeah anyway yeah uh thank you for joining us we was live from north las vegas we said what was real about low down dirty shame starring keenan ivory waynes and jada pinkins i am dom cruz it's your boy keese all right that's it cut <laughs>